was sure there were some pop-ups, just like you said there would be last night. But man, you know, I mean, it was beautiful. It was so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Sunshine coming in through the shades this yeah. morning. A lot less humidity across Northeast Ohio, so I'm sure we have no complaints about that. However, we do have to talk about numbers and even some conditions in the final days, believe it or not, Lena, of July. We only got one more coming for us tomorrow, and then we open up the book for August. 79 degrees, so that's how we had the last Sunday rain in. 83 degrees is the average temperature. Look at this. We began in the low 60s this morning. Again, a lot less humidity, and we are thankful for that. Live look outside right now. You can see there's 77 degrees. We put a, a couple of sevens on there. That is the current temperature right now at Cleveland Hopkins. The average high temperature is about 83 degrees for this time of year, and we've been slowly turning the tide, going back down in our average daytime high temperatures. So again, we do have have a little bit popping up on the map right now, certainly down towards uh, Holmes County. We do have a stronger thunderstorm moving through there over the next about 20 minutes or so, and then they'll be moving on out of our coverage area. But also we have a couple more popping up here. You can see back towards the north and west of you over near Shelby Cass, even a little bit around Bailey Lakes right now. Not any lightning associated with that, but that's great. If you're going south or you're near the south areas there of 77 near Copley going to the uh, Akron metro area, we have a little bit of a light shower moving there for you as well. So a little bit of the dark clouds, maybe a little bit of the rain showers, but again, not turning severe at this moment. We're sticking with this pattern, okay? We talked about that troughing that is uh, in and around the area over the next couple days. That's bringing in cooler conditions here for us as we keep that area of high pressure in residence for the deep south and also the four corners. This is sort of the nexus of where all those really, really warm temperatures mid to upper 90s, even some triple digits, obviously down in the Lone Star State, but 70s from many all the way down through Cleveland over to Boston, New York, even Philly, dealing with a little bit of cooler conditions. So over the next few hours, this is how things shape up here. Stable conditions in and around the metro. We're going to likely coast back into the upper 50s, maybe even the low 60s, waking up tomorrow. Is it July or is it September? Tough to tell here. So we're going to keep this area of low pressure up to the north. That's going to move on out of the region. We got some stationary boundary conditions down south, so that's also causing a little bit of snare there. But notice what's happening down towards North Carolina. We have a little bit of a tropical system trying to gain some development down here. It roughly has about a 30% chance of developing over the next 48 hours to five days, but it is likely that we're likely going to have some conducive uh, uh, ingredients there likely for this to intensify just a wee bit. Mainly it's going to provide some torturous uh, uh, shoreline conditions, certainly on the islands of North Carolina, but also bring in some periods of heavy rain as well. East Northeast movement roughly about 15 to 20 miles per hour, winds roughly about 30 miles per hour. So again, not a major factor, but something very, very sure to watch, especially for the coastline residences. Here's your National Design Mart forecast for the rest of the evening. Again, temperatures cooling down to the 50s overnight tonight. Maybe some areas getting down to the upper 40s. With that north breeze, we're going to keep things around the cool and also comfortable narrative even into the afternoon. I think we'll likely hang out around 80 degrees in the afternoon. Couple pops here and there. Radar wants to pick up on, but again, mainly sunny skies even for us on Tuesday. We'll carry that narrative into the afternoon, maybe hitting 80 degrees, and we're likely to go even warmer after that. That is even for Wednesday. Our next system arrives towards the end of the week in your junior home mortgage seven. Mostly sunny, high clouds there, 80 degrees for the high on Wednesday. We bump back into the mid to low 80s on Thursday. Increasing clouds in the afternoon, maybe a few carryover showers on Friday. But look at that. Isn't that a beautiful weekend? First weekend of August. Lena?